Yeah, chicken coop, December 13th, around 2 o'clock, 56 degrees, man, is it warm. And that side there on the left is piled up with leaves and ornamental grass trimmings. And pushed, it's gone down about three feet right here in the front. So that is just the start of it. <clears throat> Here's some more leaves. Now in that leaf bin right back there, them pallets around, there's a worm bin. Just like this, well that's a 26 gallon tub. Back here in those pallets, there's a 100 gallon tub. And right at the bottom, you might be able to see it down there, it's a blue tub. Or it's a blue container, that's where my worm juice is. I have to go drain that tomorrow before it rains. We're supposed to get a couple inches, now an inch and a half of rain tomorrow. And that's what all the leaves need. Back up here, that's a hot compost pile I have right there. But it's not too hot because I don't have enough rain. And that's where I'm going to move my two smaller worm bins so that they stay a little bit warmer. Man, just had a drop off of uh, a truckload of leaves over there. So uh, leaf piles getting pretty big. I don't know what happened with the sound on that last one, last video. Huh? Well, let's take a walk down here. Here's the blueberries. They're pretty big. Show good blueberry. Yeah, the trucks almost ran on it, so that's why I put these stakes up. Because the tread's right over there. Right over on the root zone of the blueberries. They don't care. They just wheel in, wheel out. Now, here's my other worm bin. Let me show you. Right down there. That's another worm bin. There's a pile of stump grindings. There's a pile of wood chips. The stump grindings were over. They dropped it off of the leaves, which isn't good for me. I don't want it that mixed in, right? Because stump grindings is a whole different animal. So, you know, leaves, man, get a good amount of leaves now. Two landscaping companies. And there's, uh, this. that's all just one pile right there just got dropped off that thing so yeah over here yes oh you know what on that other video what I tried to do is explain the distances in the garden Okay, you see, because that post there start there, and then that post down there, that's 50 feet. And uh, there's a post down there, that's 100 feet. And then there's that post down there, that's another 100 feet. That's 200 feet. And from that post over to about those, let's see, I guess right over there. It's about, four, well, I'll say it's about 45 feet. So this leaves are in is about 30 feet wide, 50 feet long. Okay. You know, so the bees are out. It's in the 50s. They're eating some of the, eating some of the uh, pollen substitute I put out for them. That's, look, here's the bees in the, not until I close those entrances up and turn them around to the front. I guess I didn't. It's just, that's facing east. That sun's coming. And up there is north. So, I like to change them around. Let's see what we got in the front here. Yeah, they're coming along, aren't they? I mean, I just like watching the bees sometimes. Uh, 
again. These two highs are moving, especially the one down the end. Now they were nukes and their original lineup was a hygienic bees from um, BP Queen. You know, they're hy hygienic Italian, VHS resistant. And this is a nuke off of, um, well, all three of these are splits I made off of a hot, one of the hives that I originally got. So this Virgin Queen made it in my yard, which so it has these genetics and some Curlanians from, it has uh, some um, ankle biters from the Purdue University, Indiana, Queen Breeder Association, and some from uh, Zelma Bogies and Frank up there in West Virginia. So the, and these so these are pretty good bees. They're they're pretty productive. And the hive came from brought in a lot of honey. So I'm excited. I'm gonna actually go to uh, made a couple calls. Adam Finkelstein uh, shared some numbers with me, and I called some of the people that buy the breeder queens from him. Made arrangements to buy some made it queens from. Him. Because I want to build up, I want to get uh, 20 highs and 20 nukes all together there this year. Uh, how are they doing with this uh, substitute pollen? There's bees out here doing it. Yeah. It's not too windy. That's says you know, 13 maybe, something like that. You see along here, like these taller shrubs, they're asparagus. This is my asparagus run. Then I have garlic behind the asparagus. And then you might not be able to see it, but I have a run of fruit trees. There's uh, yasta berries and different figs. I'm not sure, don't remember if I put gooseberries in here. Been over there in my mom's. Been there make my mom's cutting. Up against the uh, chicken wire, chicken run. There are goji berries down there. Ah, uh, look. That chicken's in my fig tree. Huh. Uh, huh. That up there where those chickens are, where it's like foot higher than the rest of the area. That was about five foot higher leaves last year and the chickens just worked it down. All that's my new uh, compost mulch for this year coming up 2019. You got here, you little hen, you. All these wood chips here on the side of the road I'm gonna push back up. But it keeps the trucks from wandering over there to my planted areas. Yeah, here's the gauge berries. They're still green, right? They hardly ever drop through these. I just have quite a few additions this year. So, yeah, those leaves there, they're all from up top. And these are another company. This pile back here is all, all these went through an impeller and chopped them up. That, that's real nice there. That'll uh, break down really fast. In three months will be broken down. It's all chopped up. These are whole leaves, won't drop down. Drop, um, won't mix up real fast. Down here, I have a lot of uh, sea berries and jujubes. And then over here, I have a lot of ornamental shrubs. I don't think I have any edible shrubs in here. Down in this lot, I forget. Yeah, so. Uh, I'd like to do some channels back near some drainage. That's video for another time. 
but our leaves are getting piled up. I'm getting them stacked in here now. So where's that last day? Uh, so that over there, that uh, post that you can see over there is uh, right there. From that post over to these mounds, it's 45 feet. From that post up there to that post is 100 feet. From that post all the way up is another 100 feet. So it's 200 feet all together. So I have. 240 by 100 bunker tarps, silage bunker tarps. And I was thinking about getting one for down in there where I cut the grass. And down there mostly do vine crops, not cucumbers, but pumpkins, maybe some squash, but my watermelons are cantaloupes ones that run and then 